Hello and welcome. You know who it is. You know the drill. It's time for some pickums. Let's fucking go. Right, so obviously the challenger stage of the major done dust arena. We have got all of the big boys if the legend stage. Yeah, that's right. The major proper, some might say, some wouldn't, some would. Arguments go down on Twitter all the time about it. Quite frankly, I don't give a fuck. But what this means is we can do some pickums. Forgot to do my challenger stage pickums uh, because I suck. Look, I can't. It won't let me. But here we are. Legend stage. Let's fucking go. Don't know if I can get a diamond coin anymore. Probably not possible. But if it is, you best believe I'm going to do it. Uh, so let's kick things off with the 03 pick. Okay. This is actually hard. The thing is, I think the worst team in this stage is probably Bad News Eagles, right? No offense to them. I just think they're more imperial probably one of these two guys the thing is in best of ones i'm not confident either of them will go oh three that's that's my problem is in best of ones it adds the variance man it makes it it makes it tough to say that they're definitely going to lose all three games because like if imperial like lose their opener and then end up getting like a team spirit or a bad news eagles or a liquid then yeah there's definitely a chance that they could they could be okay you know there's definitely a chance they could take a game and like up until this point we've seen what betting against the brazilians gets you right it gets you absolutely wrecked on social media same with bad news eagles to be fair like both have absolutely rabid fan base go away rog i don't even know that guy is fucking hang on hang on fixing right there we go do not disturb myself it's actually really hard to pick an 03 team here because it's best of one. I think it's got to be between Liquid, Bad News Eagles, Imperial, or Spirit. Uh, and I'm leaning towards one of these three. But I feel like all of them have shown me... I'm going to... I'm going to take Bad News Eagles as my 03. Oh, no. I feel bad even doing it. God damn. The thing with Bad News Eagles, right, is... I think they're like close to being a, a legitimately good team, like a, a tier one, maybe standard sort of like cusp of tier one. The problem is, is their attention to detail is bad, right? It is just bad. They miss too many grenades. Like that along on its own is, is a problem. They miss too many fucking grenades, like basic grenades. They're whiffing not good enough at this point of a major, I think. In fact, I wouldn't have even said it would have been good enough in the previous stage, but, you know, Bad News Eagles made it work. The other thing is, like, they... When I'm watching Bad News Eagles, I see some deaths where I'm sat there and I'm like, did you just get bored holding your angle and you decided, like, you'd had enough? Like, seriously, sometimes it's like... Guys, just take a chill pill. You're too much caffeine before the game or something. It's like they genuinely get jittery and get bored watching their angles. So they move and then they'll get like shot because they've run out into the open change of positions for no reason. I I just I, I basically right, it's my logic is the the veteran smarts of Imperial will get them at least a game. The veteran smarts of liquid will get them at least a game they've both been here done that been to major so it was between spirit and bad news eagles and from what i've seen spirit are a little bit better as a team like you know chopper's been there and done it at tier one so is um magics yeah i think spirit just for me like just a little, little bit um edge bad news eagles if i had to assess them as a team so there we go there's my o3 pick sorry bad news eagles i know i'm sorry uh, next up, we'll do the 3 0 pick. Now, there's a few obvious candidates for this. FaZe are an obvious candidate. Navi are an obvious candidate. I think G2 are a reasonable candidate. Even like Ents, Vitality. There's a lot of potential candidates for a 3 0, actually. Let's rule out our 3 0s. Okay, so Liquid are not going 3 0. Imperial are not going 3 0. Spirit are not going 3 0. I don't think Nip are going 3 0. I don't think Big are going 3-0. I don't think Copenhagen Flames are going 3-0. And I don't think Heroic are going 3-0. So that leaves me with like Cloud9, Fury. The, this is the stage of the, the tournament where like Furia, I think, thrive 
I think the Fury really have a strong potential. I don't think Vitality are going to 3-0. I still think Vitality have the problems. As much as I rate Ents, I think Ents will drop a best of one. I, I have that feeling. I don't know why. I think, um, yeah, just in the last stage going 3-1 as well. Who did they lose to? Was it Vitality in that series? No, it was G2. It was G2. Same difference. Same difference. Not really. Not at all. But they both got French players in. I, I think I'm going to be super boring. And go for the phase clan pick. I think it's so hard to call the 3 0 teams and the 3 teams. I think that's th these are the two. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because you're you're betting on a specific record, not just betting people to go through. Of course, they're harder. But I think they're really hard in this instance. I think it's going to be super tough to call the 3 0 and the 3 teams. I think these are probably the two safest picks. Maybe you'd slot Spirit in there instead. But. I think these are the two safe picks for the 3 and the 3 So that is what I'm going for. Right now, this is the fun and the easy bit. It's just picking teams that are going to go through. Okay, so we'll start off with some obvious ones. Bam, I think Cloud9 are going through. Bam, I think Fury are going through. Bam, I think Na'Vi are going through. I think G2 are going through. And I think Ents are going through. I think these are like all pretty safe picks to go through. Now... We've got some more interesting stuff to do. Let's talk about the outsiders to go through, right? Haha, <laughs> jokes. I don't literally mean outsiders. Um, Big are looking really good at the moment and have looked on a massive upswing with Farvin in the lineup. And I think Big are a team that I back to be even better with like time to prepare. I think their preparation is going to be really good. And obviously, they've got God B back in as well uh, in place of NKJ. So... The, the problem in some senses is there is some change there with big which i don't know i don't know how i feel about changing your coach just before a major however it is god b so it's somebody they know and is within the organization anyway so it's not as big of a change as it could be copenhagen flames uh, i don't know where their ceiling is is the problem with flames i don't think we get to see them enough in in like big tier one events flames obviously didn't do so hot in katavica turned up got banged out straight away but it was against good teams like they lost to gambit and who was the other was it outsiders was outsiders the other one team they lost to i gotta double check that give me a sec yeah it was it was outsiders but when they were still versus pro um so i don't know i i don't think i can back flames to go through ahead of some of the other teams so I think I'm like kind of, yeah. I think I'm I'm potential. I'm putting big and flames to the side for now. I don't I don't have huge amounts of. It's not like I don't have faith in them. I think they're both good teams. It's just we're we're talking about the best of the best now. Um, Imperial, yeah. I'm not going to back them to go through. Spirit, I'm not going to back them to go through. And Liquid, I'm probably not going to back to go through. I think these three outsiders i just think there's too much swirling around them at the moment you know obvious issues behind the scenes with the russian invasion of ukraine obviously affecting a lot of those players and yekindar in particular probably not going to be with outsiders after this tournament i think this is where that's going to really have an effect and cause some problems for them i i don't think the previous stage they're just good enough to kind of ride through that stage based on just being a better team than a lot of the teams they're playing that isn't going to be the case here. If they get a favourable draw, yeah, potentially. Obviously, there's still things to occur there. But um, in fact, we'll probably... In fact, let's go and take a look at some of the opening matchups because that might help me with these last few, these last two. I might get some assistance here on these. Right, so um, here we have the opening matchups. Um, and let's see if they give me any hope. So Heroic will probably win their opener. Okay, that does help me with Flames because... That should be a win for Flames. Helps me with Outsiders because I think Outsiders should probably lose that. Oh, that's a big boy matchup. Oh, that's really rough actually for me putting Phase 3 and 0. Oh dear. That might make me reconsider my 3 and 0 pick. No, I think I've got to back the boys. I think I've got to back the boys. Oh, maybe that may... Oh, Fury might become my 3 0 pick having seen their opening game. Oh man, that actually does make me want to put. But does that does this tell me anything about about who I think will go 
not go through. No, not really. It just makes me want to pick Fury as my 3-0. Oh, I might need to change my 3-0 pick. Oh, oh what have I done? Yeah, okay, so... um. Oh my god, I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to put Fury at 3-0 and I'm going to put FaZe down there. I may end up regretting this, very much may, but just that opening matchup, FaZe could 100% drop that best of one. Uh, and we've seen FaZe start tournaments slow, like Katowice started slow. Ents have already had time to warm up. They've already, you know, gotten like any early, you know, when you first turn up to a LAN, you can just have a little bit of like settling in. Ents have already gotten that out of the way, so yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the Fury of 3-0 after seeing those matchups. What it didn't really help me do is help me decide who is going to go through. So I think I'm picking between Heroic, Nip, and Vitality. I think I've got to pick between these three, Heroic, Nip, and Vitality. Vitality have the added bonus of having already played, right? Obviously had their warm-up done their shit nip just bought brolan in it didn't look hella convincing but they did mm. i just feel is there still some selling in to do with brolan maybe the team I funnily enough have like the least faith in in a weird way is Heroic, but then I also have a lot of faith in Heroic. Heroic, to me, this is the stage of the tournament where they normally are at their best when the pressure is not on. The problem is, is that it is still, it's a major, so it is still potentially high pressure. And if we look at the quality of this stage, they're going to have to be... You probably will get the chance to beat at least one of the like spirits, imperials, liquids, bad news, eagles of the world. But then you will ha you're gonna have to beat a load of good teams. Oh man, this is really hard. This is really hard. I think I've gotta take heroic. So now the the lot oh my god. I'm so now I'm picking between... Outsiders are not even a bad shout, but I think I'm picking between Vitality and Nip here. Vitality have looked much improved. The problem the problem with me for, for Vitality, right, and can they replicate this in the next stage, is Masuta played way above his station, right? Masuta played... In fact, let's have a look at the stats here on this one. So, like, as we can just see here, um, hopefully my camera should be up here and not in the way. Um, Misuta, yeah, just by far, by so far, the best event for him of the year came in that challenger stage. Uh, do I think he's going to do that again? N no, I really don't think so. And I think this is part of what elevated Vitality a lot. Zewu, I think, had a good challenger stage as well, which definitely helps. But I think this was really what elevated Vitality to look, looking like a team with problems and like kind of shaky to looking actually they were like really comfortable. I think in the challenger stage didn't look too fast. I I think I'm gonna have to back my analytical muscles, at, so to say, and I think I'm gonna have to put Nip. Because I don't think Masuta's going to do that again. And I think that was a lot of the reason Vitality looked so good in comparison to previous. Right, let's just spin through this one more time, right? And uh, and we'll justify everything. Na'Vi, I mean, you've got to put Na'Vi in phase, I think. Like, I mean, I reckon there will be people who, you know, don't put one of them. Probably don't put Na'Vi, some people. But you've just got to. I think you can't. The one and two teams in the world right now, um, so good. Na'Vi only really seem to get beaten by FaZe at the moment. I don't know. I, I just don't think you can really look past these two teams. And I think you've got to put Ents because they're so good at the moment and in such good form. I think those three are basically locks. Just after that, I think Furia and players, Cloud9, sorry, I think these two, Fury are probably a little bit more so than Cloud9 just in the moment. Again, on recent form and just this is what Fury do, right? They just make playoffs. That is Fury. They basically don't not make playoffs. 
Um, and Fury have been getting better and better as the year goes on as well. So I think these two are locks for obvious reasons. I think Fury is pretty much a lock for obvious reasons. After Fury is... Uh, is uh, uh, Oh, uh, and Ents, obviously, Ents. So I think these four are like locks. And I think if you don't put them in your pickums, you're trying to be a freaking edgelord. Weirdo. Um, outside of that is where it starts to get shaky and... It's a major. That's the thing to remember as well. And so you can, to some extent, form... Like, for a normal tournament, form matters more than when you're coming into a major. It's a special environment. It's a little bit different. Some people are going to feel the pressure more and therefore crumble a little bit. Some people are going to feel the pressure more and therefore rise to the occasion. Part of that rising to the occasion is why I, I'm a little bit hesitant to put Bad News Eagles here because I feel like they're a very momentum-based team. They're a very emotional team. And actually, they could be one of those teams that gets gassed up and really rises to the occasion. But, you know, got to just, like I say, back my analytical muscles on that one. I think they are the worst team in this stage, probably. Um, not saying they're bad, by the way. They're still a really good team. I just think there are obvious flaws there that, that need to be addressed before they can take that next step. Flames are the one I'm like regretting the most because um, I really think they could easily go through this stage. Even big as well, I think they could really easily go through. Um, I'm, the only ones I'm like most really most confident are Liquid, Imperial, and Spirit. Those are the three I'm like quite confident won't go through. I just don't think any of those three teams are good enough to get the number of wins they're gonna need three wins so if they get even if they yes i can believe they could beat each other and get like an easier win on the board but are they gonna beat two of like any of the rest of these teams i think it's gonna be hard and especially one of them at least one of them yeah at least one will need to be in series play um so i just don't see can liquid be ents and big in a series like They'd have to go 2 0 in the best of ones to only play one series. Like, it's just. That's the thing that's difficult. I could see Spirit doing it. I could see Spirit getting two best of one wins, like just coming out of the gates, surprising teams who don't really know what they're about, getting the two best of one wins, and then only needing one best of three against probably a decent team to go through. I could see that happening. Same with outsiders. I could almost see outsiders. They're good enough to get two best of one wins, even against the best teams. And then they only need one series to go through. So, you know, the format is definitely worth bearing in mind. But I just, I just, I have to, on the basis of probability, say Imperial Spirit and Liquid are likely to need two series wins. And I just can't see them getting two against pretty much any combination of two of these. Even if you say, okay you know, pick one of the supposed bottom teams I think they're going to potentially play, and then also winning a series against one of these? I don't know. I just don't think I can back that. Um, Vitality, it's the Masuta factor, is what I'm, I'm going on. I don't think Masuta is going to be as good in this stage as he was in the previous. If he is, I can see them going through, but yeah, I just don't. And then these two are my wobbliest picks to go through and heroic i just think they've got enough pedigree and enough of a like resume in this sort of level of competition they were top four at the last major i think you've got to put them to go through again you've just got to you just got to look at the facts and say despite my my feeling i have this little weird gut feeling heroic might like throw it and go two three you know like they'll go two oh and then they'll have a really close series against one of the best teams and not win you'll be like oh that's fine and then they'll play someone where they're slightly favored and then they choke it away and all the pressures on, like i could see that happening you know all the pressure on in the final series and they choke it but you know like i say gotta go with the what the facts and the stats are telling me and then nip is just on a whim because i don't think vitality big or copenhagen flames or outsiders are going to do it i could basically nip i could swap for any of these teams but i have to give nip that edge for what they've proven so far over the year what they've proven in recent times even with like fuzi on the lineup managing to go top two im winter and like top four at esl pro league like they managed to be a good team even with Fuzi, which made no sense. And 
with Brolan in the lineup, much better. A bit more time to work with him. Yeah, I think I've got to take Nip. So I'm happy with that, actually. I think I've I've finally rationalised it all to a point where I'm actually happy with it. Fury of the 3-0. It was a toss-up between Fury and FaZe, but back to Fury because their opening matchup is easier. FaZe have Ents. Both three bad news Eagles. I just think they're the worst team in this stage. You know, you could kind of toss it up between these four. You know, Spirit, Imperial, Liquid, or Bad News Eagles. I think Bad News Eagles are just slightly less polished than the others. So, I've got to go with them to go 3 Not confident about it at all, though, by the way. Not confident about it at all. Uh, and then, like I say, these four are kind of locks as far as I'm concerned. I think you'd struggle to bet against these. G2, probably the wobbliest, just because G2 sometimes do G2 things and fucking absolutely collapse for no reason. Uh, yeah, and then, as I've already explained, these two are probably the shakiest of my picks to go through. Really only nip. Heroic should go through. It makes sense that they should. It's just, we know what Heroic are like. Again, similar to G2, they've got that uh, potential to just go poof and disappear. Just absolutely David Blaine it on us and fuck off. And I don't know where they've gone. Absolute magic. So yeah, that is the Pickums. Don't know how long this video ended up going. Um, it's going to be a banger stage though either way, guys. We have some baller opening stage games like I showed you. It's going to be absolute carnage. There's going to be some amazing teams like Ents and FaZe are guaranteed to go 0-1. Ents or FaZe, sorry, not Ents and. But one of these two is guaranteed to go 0-1. You know, there's there's a lot of banger matchups and some good teams are going to be on O1s, which will make the later stages of the Swiss interesting. You know what I mean? Because a really good team has suddenly had their Bushalt's like seeding coefficient or whatever knocked by losing in the first stage. It's just going to create for some weird and wonderful matchups later on. I am looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts, by the way. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Like, what what would you change here? Um, I'm, I'm suspecting this one's going to catch some heat. The Bad News Eagles one. Uh, and I'm suspecting there's going to be a few differences here because there's some good teams I've had to say aren't going to go like Outsiders and Copenhagen Flames and Big and Vita Let me know. Tell me how wrong I am or how right I am. And if you didn't like this video, right, I'm going to do my, my closer. It probably means you're one of the teams I haven't put to go through. And uh, I'm not going to be facetious or sarcastic. All I'm going to say is I get it. I get it. It's a major. You're all good teams. But someone's got to go home, boys and girls. Someone's got to go home.